How many interruptions do we have? One, two, three, four, five. This also counts as a billion. Six, seven, eight. Yo, I just invented the craziest combo to mankind. So you watching this video, I don't care if you like Master Lord TCG, you have to watch this video. This is gonna blow your mind. It's not even pendulums. That's how you know I'm serious. I'm talking about a deck that's not pendulum. So watch this, it's gonna blow your mind. 22 draws in the turn. No hand trap can stop it. Pendulum deck box. Beyond the pendulum, there's like five to 10 left. Get them right now. This is the very first release of deck boxes ever of Trip Gaming. You'll never really get them again. They're gonna be sold in a few days. Get them now. Let's get straight into this video. This is insane. Also, smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. I promise videos every single day of June. We're gonna deliver on that exact promise. Let's go, baby. Playing, we're playing Punk Synchro Runic. Watch, watch. It's not basic Punk Synchro, normal bullshit annoyingness. This is gonna blow your mind. The combos in this deck is insane. Think of every hand trap as well. You wanna ash my E-Telly? I don't care if you say I mean. You wanna like what's the ghost over my fountain? I don't care, I have another. It, it just keeps going forever. Even Nibiru, it stop. It doesn't matter what they have. It just doesn't matter what they have. You just draw forever. And I'm not kidding, we draw 22 times this turn. It's ridiculous. It just keeps going. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna use Wagon. To, we're gonna search two. You draw two from the punk cards and you play the full punk engine. And what separates this deck from uh, other punk insert random decks is the Runix. So what is the best Synchro 5 you could possibly think of? What just came out the balance? Dang long. Guess what? It's the third best Synchro 5 in Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. That's right. We don't even play Dang Long. This deck started as a Dang Long deck because Zayamin is three, all the them are three, and Hugin is two. So you can make Dang Long and then continue playing forever and play tremendously. The downside of that is that it comes with bricks. There's no actual bricks in this deck, which is what separates it from a Dang Long deck with a thousand bricks. So what this does is capitalizes on Librarian. It capitalizes on when you synchro and remove the Hugin from the extra monster zone. You can synchro again and again and then continually runic summon again more runics more runics and the discard outlets here's what makes it crazy the runic discard outlets for hugin and foxy tune require a discard we're playing an engine in this deck that i didn't mention yet that just makes us play forever so we're gonna use these effects here. we're gonna have our first draw there is one of them now we're not playing pure fabled what we're doing is we're playing seven tuners in our hand that when they didn't get discarded from hugin or sent to the grave, well, discarded by Hugin, or if Foxy sends the other ones, if it doesn't work with Fable, then you'll be able to trigger the effect. And it's absolutely insane. So let's go. So next, we're going to summon back to Fable Kerberel, and then we're going to make Hyper Librarian, and then we're gonna summon this, and that's where it gets crazy. Librarian's better than Danglong, don't forget it. With Librarian on the field, this is about to get really crazy really fast. So we, you're gonna lose track of the draws. So, so far we've drawn two times, both from the Punk Field spell. So we're gonna continue going here. We're gonna draw. Uh, I accidentally drew there. I have to wait. Librarian's chain link one, so I have to draw last. That was a mistake. I add first, then draw. So we're at three draws so far. Now it's about to get absurd. Runic Fountain. We're just gonna have a little fun here. We're gonna go slumber. We're gonna put those three back. So now we're at six draws. And everything you draw, you're gonna just keep putting onto the field. That's what makes it so absurdly broken. So now we're gonna go start as charge. So make that eight draws now. Destrudo. Absurd. What the heck? Destrudo in this deck's ridiculous. Especially with Ancient Fairy. So right now we're gonna just keep playing. We have not utilized Foxy Tune yet. So I already lost kind of draws. Six draws. We're gonna lose count fast. Wait, were we at six or more? No, we're at eight. Because yeah, we're at two from Punk. We're at two from Librarian, that's four. One from Stardust Charge, five. Three from Runic. We're at eight. So we're at eight draws currently. We're gonna then synchro those into Crocs. So that's 10 draws now. So you see how that happens where because of the way the levels work is because the Runics could be two, three, or four at any moment. You can end up synchro summoning whatever God's Green Earth you want. So you end up going for this Charge Warrior Croc play every single game. That's 10 draws right now. 10. All right. I did a play there. Okay. I used Croc to specifically discard my Runic cards. So I could draw other Runic cards in the set. Instead of just activating a Fountain over it. So by doing this, I at least are guaranteed another draw three instead of a draw one. So now, well, this makes sure that we can add more cards. So now we're going to draw 13. So we're at 13 right now. Bro, this is insane. We're going to use a Synchro Dragster. We're at 14. So right now we drew 14 times. And now we're going to set four. And on his turn, oh, I made a mistake. It's a draw 18, not 22. My bad, guy. I lost I lost count. We're at 14 draws. On his turn, 14 draws on our turn. On his turn, we're going to use this and draw again with Librarian. That's 15 draws. Because on his turn, we're going to pop his whole field with Shoru Kasai. That's 15. And then we're going to Runic draw three more as well on his turn. So that's 18 draws. Draw 18 combo. That is insane. Half the people that play Yu-Gi-Oh! aren't even 18 years old. You guys are kids. And we just drew 18 times. That is crazy. That This deck's nuts. How many interruptions do we have? 
one two three four five this also got to a billion six seven and i didn't even set itali i don't even play ghost ogre oh and we have flat eight the eight interruptions nine i didn't even set goals i didn't even play ghost Ogre in the deck because the deck has so many interruptions i don't need ghost ogre to search off the dragon drive so i just make it as consistent as possible this is the deck list absolutely insane now you could play Danglong if you want i like jet synchron instead because what this allows now is the level five is the level you're gonna make the most because it's level three tuners with hugin so you make librarian and then you make excel synchron excel synchron will send the jet and then you'll continue playing with the jet so you just continuously play forever and then this sending runics to the grave is also nice so the idea behind it is these 12 on the top left corner that you see over here they all somehow some way get access to foxy tune because they, I mean, like even Ogre Dance will get Zayamin, which will add Foxy Tune. Foxy Tune will then send one of these to get value or send a Runic. So the bottom 23 cards are great to send to the graveyard. Any of the bottom 23. And then you have these 12 as outlets, as well as you have uh, 16. So you have 28 cards to discard because the Runics are both good cards to discard and good cards to discard something with. So Destrudo, Fable Kerberal, and Jet Synchron really bring this deck together and make it absolutely bananas this deck's insane and then the idea you don't need hand traps hand traps are for losers because this deck this deck also breaks boards like it's nothing bro it's ridiculous you just summit like they won't expect it either like think of the most easy way you you clear the interruptions you just one of the level three tuners from the punks is remaining then you summon a runic a gary black rose their ass into oblivion and then that's what you do as well because runics kind of stop you like after you draw a thousand times and the drawing is never ending. So after you draw a thousand times, the last play, well, after you have seven cards in hand, you black rose their board. So even though you're blocked out from Runic, you're still fine. So the actual thing is three Itali, three Zayamin, one Sharakusai, one Wagon, one Madam Spider, one Deer Note, triple Foxy Tune, triple Ogre Dance. I'd max out on all these. The punks is what makes us crazy. Because what are they going to do? Valor as Zayamin? I don't care. You just continue playing. It's irrelevant. Triple, uh, double Runic Fountain. You need two to continue searching. One extreme a set, one a punk field spell, one dangerous gabu, the punk trap. Now I removed ancient fairy. I was playing it for a long time, but a lot of the times your line is not popping jam to get runic fountain. A lot of times you you just hug in the fountain, so you don't really need ancient fairy. Triple Destrudo, triple fable Kerberel. Now I was thinking about playing Ringo Worm instead of Kerberel, but uh, Kerberel just ended up being better because Ringo Worm you need a synchro summon first. So what we end up doing actually you go runic. Let's say you open all runics and no tuners, right? You just open Kerberel. So you have no punk cards. So what you do is you go Runic, Hugin, Special Kerberel. Then Kerberel and the Runic goes into Cupid Pitch, Cupid Pitch, and another Hugin or Gary will then synchro again. So you go into the start of charge, and then you draw and you search the punk. All the punks are 600 defense. That's freaking crazy. So then, then you get access to your punks through that. This next fucking bananas is really, really, really powerful. Yeah, so triple Runic tip, triple, and one Jet Synchron. It's great to draw, but for two, it's great with Exile Synchron to keep the synchro plays going. To continually draw a librarian as much as possible you can also play herald and one soul is one illusion instead of the cupid pitch but being able to search your your punks are crazy a triple brazen curse triple fast and fire triple runic destruction triple tip double dispelling double slumber side deck instead of hand traps what cards pair so well with runics bro board breakers when you use runics to kind of stop their interruptions you just board break their ass into oblivion triple thrust triple talent triple regeki change of heart mind control dust or triple twin and now think of Backrow, how good you are versus Backrow. You have Triple Twin and Duster in a deck that you love to discard. That's four. You have Triple Tip and Triple Destruction. That's 10 discard outlets in this deck. Like you obliterate every Backrow deck. You obliterate every Rogue deck. And against combo, imagine this. You have Triple Tip, Triple Freezing Curse, that's six. Triple Flashing Fire, that's nine. Triple Destruction is still good going second versus back. Like every combo deck has some form of trap card. That's 12. And then with these... 12 more that's 24 so going second you have 24 cards out of 43 24 bro <laughs> crazy like it's nuts and the runic cards act as those go second cards so imagine playing cards like book of moon or imperm or whatever go second cards or econ defensive cards runics are those defensive cards like this deck's insane i was trying to insert d triple sprite blue and one jet and one smashers but the extra deck ended up being really tight so we, we couldn't insert them. Having it really be synchro pure is really powerful. And I can't remove anything. Like every single card in this deck comes up. Baron de Floor comes up the least, but it's so good. It it come it, it will come up at times. So I left that. Baron de Floor is the only and Cupid Pitch are the only two cards you could think about removing. And I want to try Dugaris. I try to play one of each. You can also play one of each of the shufflers, a Guido and all that. 
Uh, it's not bad at all. Pretty good. And the mill five, because mill five is great in this deck. So they're all not bad. If you're going to play the ring, the mill five, remove Kerberol for Ring Worm. That's the deck. This deck's so good. It's actually insane. So next, I want the, I'm going to practice with this deck, but a Lich instead. Because if you were to use Foxy Tuner or Runic to discard an L Lich card and trigger Hugin, your value is so much higher because the one L Lich card will lead to five by the end of the duel. And by inserting a huge Magician Souls package, because Punks and Souls will get Herald to get another Illusion, like it's really powerful how much you could just pop off forever. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out the deck boxes because I love them. So check them out. They're beautiful. I know you love them too. And I'll see you guys next video. Thank you guys for watching. This is Dex Insane. See you guys next video. Peace. Big biceps.